Hey, welcome to BME TV Show. I'm your co-host, DJ Kale Rockwell, and we got a great performance coming to you by Vera G. Let's go. I got that summer, summertime sadness Makes me blue, gotta get past this Can't take no pills or no potions Gotta get off this madness I'm about to set off in this mission If I don't take that decision Should I go this way or that way Or stay safe and stay sane the sadness is getting to me Don't know what I'm this building I lost my mind so quickly Just two seconds off this swiftly I see all in front of me Don't know what I'm doing. If I get rid of me I'll do you a favor And say my last prayer TV. Great performance by Vero G. Now we like to bring our host, none other than Ni Ni J. Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. I want to introduce you to one of our very special guests. We have with us here Mr. 
Smell good himself. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> okay, can I keep, can I keep talking? Okay, great. Right here we have, I'm going to call him basketball extraordinaire. We have with us, I was getting ready to give him another nickname. I'm sorry. Can we cut? <laughs> I'm be, I got so many names for you in my head, I'm not calling you by your name. Okay. We have Lloyd Saunders here with us today, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Lloyd, say hey to the people. How y'all doing? What's going on? Okay, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to find out a little bit of something about Lloyd. Lloyd, tell us a little about yourself. Tell uh, us about how you got into basketball. Okay, well, I've been playing basketball since I was four years old. I'm um, from Brooklyn, New York. Um okay. I'm from East New York, part of Brooklyn. And basically, I went to high school in Connecticut. And long story short, I got a scholarship to college um, and played basketball in Europe and Spain for three years. And so, you know, now I'm just trying to get back to the community. How is it playing overseas? Um, it's kind of tough. You have, like, it's ups and downs. They expect a lot from American players. Mm -hmm. So, you know, going going right into Europe was like a culture shock for me because I don't speak yeah. any Spanish in Spain. Big language barrier. Right, but overall it was a great experience. Great That's experience. Nice. It has to be. How are you receptive? How, how is it the reception from the people over there? Is it? It's nice, it? especially from the kids. Um, they're they're very open to you know they don't see a lot of American basketball, so for American to play on their club or in like their town or their city. They're very embracing, so it's beautiful. That's good. Is it similar in any way to the NBA here? Not real. Well, I, I I worked out for a lot of NBA teams, uh, the 76ers, the Brooklyn Nets uh, this yes. year. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm trying. So I haven't yet. I haven't played in the NBA. However, I played against NBA players. You know, workouts and scrimmages and stuff like that. But um, I I believe. From what I hear in the NBA, I think it's not, I don't think it's the same. It's a little bit more, um, I guess, not not aggressive. Okay. They don't like you to, they don't really like you being aggressive and oh, pumping really? your chest and stuff like that. Oh, no, okay. it's more team oriented okay. instead of individual play. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So tell me, when you were playing when you were younger, did you play in high school? Played in high school, played in college. Uh, I went to Delaware State University. Um, I would, due to, you know, unfortunate circumstances, I had to go to a junior college and then I eventually finished my four-year degree there at um, Delaware State University. That's good. That's something I always wanted to do. I played basketball all my life yeah. until I dislocated my knee. Oh, so my boy. WNBA dream was over. Well. <laughs> but I can still put it up in the net, that's, you that's know. That's all good. That's all good, yeah. And, um... As far as being back here, are you mm -hmm. going to go back over there again? Are you going to continue playing over there? Or are you going to be here for a while? Well, I'm going to take this year off. Um, I feel like it's my due diligence to give back to the community uh, and to the kids who aspire to be in my shoes. So that's why I started, um, you know, a nonprofit organization called Mr. Lloyd's Basketball. Mm -hmm. And with that, I teach fundamentals of the game uh, using life skills. Um, we, we talk about all different things from hygiene to how to present yourself, promote yourself, you know, in an environment where, you know, it's not, every, the, the, your tomorrow is not promised, you know what I mean? So I, I try to focus on basketball in the inner city, um, and we're just trying to maintain our focus as far as academics are concerned. Definitely. Um, so that's that's basically what I do, you what, know, with Mr. What age Lord. group is that? Well, I teach... Um, basketball from ages four to 16. Um, this past summer, we finished up our eight-week program that started in July and went on all the way until last Saturday. And my youngest participant was four years old. My oldest was 16. And it's been a three-year program. It's going really well. And now we're going to start, you know, fall and winter sessions. Okay, so um, 
are the kids based at one a certain pl location? Do you or do they come to you or do you go to them? Do you have a place set up? For the past three years, we was in Far Rockaway, New York. Um, and basically, basically, we was outside in the park. Uh, but this, but this um, winter and fall, we're gonna be at a uh, IS four sixty eight, and that's on Benson Avenue and Coney Island, Brooklyn, and. Our session starts September 13th, so it's an after-school program. But you know anybody could sign up; it's free. And I'm going to be doing basketball sessions three days out the week. Okay, and also, um, as far as the parents introducing their kids to this, mm -hmm. um, do you have a meet and greet with the parents? You know, to let them know what's, you know, what the program is about. And well, what I usually do is I'll pass out flyers throughout the, you know. Um, neighborhood and to the schools around the surrounding location where I'm going to be doing the skill sessions and I invite my parents out to introduce myself and introduce the program. I also give like my business cards out to the participants because I want parent involvement is very important to it me. Um, I want them to try to get to know me, get to know the organization and know what I'm about and I eventually want to venture off and uh, do field trips out the state. So in order to build that rapport with our parent, with my parents, they have to trust me with their child. And at the end of the session, you know, I thank the parents. I have like a parent, you know, um, what is it called? Like a like a parent meet and meet greet, saying greet. thank you, and for mm -hmm. trusting me with their son or their daughter. And it's been very, very, you know, influential for the kids, and it's been very successful these past three years. So now, how do you go about? taking notice about, um, as far as their grades. Right. Make sure that their grades are on point so they can participate, because right. I know that should be a, a serious thing. So three days a week we do skill sessions, two days a week we do a, a leadership program where uh, we go over the um, report cards. Okay. Uh, I, go, I do it things individually, you know, to keep it confidential, keep everything, you know, one-on-one -on -one with my players. And even the kids that aren't playing basketball, I still want to be like a mentor uh, for them. So I say, this is what you can do. This is what I can help you with. And so we, like I said, we go over, do like leadership workshops, and then we go over report cards, and then we see what they need help on, and then that's when we improve. That's how they improve, you know. That's great. Well, I hope a lot of people are paying attention because these kids need a way to get off the street and, yes, yes. you know, have something great to do and right. do with some people who really care about them. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's hard out there. So I hope everybody pays attention and, you know, they look up this brother and yes. help so it's him Mr. Lo program. It's Mr. Lloyd's Basketball, at Mr. Lloyd's Basketball. Um, you can follow us on Instagram, at Mr. Lloyd's Basketball. Also, <laughs> Facebook.com, www facebook.com backslash Mr. Lloyd's Basketball. And you can also look us up on our website at mrloydsbasketball.net. All right. Shout out to Big Man Entertainment. Keep doing your thing, man. It's a blessing for me. And thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Anytime. We're glad to have you. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to a clip and see these young people do their thing. Thank you. I can't see this being a way. See, he just made a point. Look, look. They had 21 before. Now they had 22 because he made it. Him. And he on our team. Look, look at this. Look at this. Watch when he make it. Watch. Eli Kenyon, JV. Oh. Oh. That's how we do it. That's how we do it in Mr. Lloyd's basketball, you heard? We get people better. We get people better. We get people better. 
get people better. I just seen two bricks. Yo! Get people better. See, when the lights come on, you can't perform. Let me look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> when the lights come on, he can't perform. I'm about to ask for my shirt back. Nah, nah, I'm about man. to ask for my shirt back, man. I'm about to ask for my shirt back. Come on. That's not. Good, Raul. Good, good. Need you to step in that pass. Step in that pass. Step. Step in the pass. Good job. Perfect. Perfect. Come on, Bryant. Good job. Way to keep it simple, Bryant. Way to keep it simple. Keep your eyes up. Keep your eyes up. Eyes up. Let's go, let's go. Let's get better. Come on, Jermaine. Good job, Jermaine. Good passes. Good passes. Step into the pass with your right hand. That's bad footwork. Step into the pass. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four. I want to step with your right foot. Two, one. Excellent. Hey, family. Welcome back to BME TV. Right here, we have a special guest with us. We have Vera G. Oh, wow. Hey, Vera G. Hi, the pleasure. Welcome to the show. Thank you so lady. much. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Um, she has a fantastic voice, but what we're going to do is we're going to find out where did this voice come from. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes. How would you start singing? Oh, wow. Okay, since the age of seven years old, um, my family, my mom, basically inspired me to sing, and, and my, my dad as well encouraged me to do that. Since at home, hearing music at home and outside the street, it's just all the passion and everything is still in me just... It, it bloomed up basically. Did your parents and, sing? Oh um, no, no. Actually, that's the funny thing. My my parents more, but my my, my dad was really more into like it's, uh, British Spanish. Those boleros, old time music, folks right. music, and all that stuff. So we heard it all the time, and I just it was something about it. Just I just loved it. Ever since that time, as a, ch a child that age, I just it just grew from that point. And when did you start taking it serious? Like, the, did you wow. want to get out there and really start making moves? Like um, that? I would say since uh, junior high school, twenty two. I was then. Shout out to Junior High School back then. <laughs> that was back then. It's changed a different name now. But uh, I used to actually, I went from that point, from that point on, um, I uh, I started actually really taking it serious at the time. And um, I would say it just, it was like something that like, was meant to be. Like, you know how sometimes things happen for a reason or just something is, you have to be and there. So. Yes, definitely. And if from that point on, it was really a great experience. And I learned from that. I learned you know, vocal change, vocal control, all that stuff. And, you know, different ways, you know, how to control your voice and, and that's so far. Yeah, and that's good because yeah. everybody needs that. Yes. I mean, I'm a serious singer in the shower, but oh, you, hey. know, you don't want to know my story. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Don't, don't worry about so, it. It's all right. <laughs> tell me the other side of Vera G. Tell me the, the home Vera G, the mother Vera G. Oh, tell me about man. what you do in your life. Um, well, basically, I, I am a mom, of course, first before anything. Um, my, How old? My, he, my son, he'll be November of this year, um, 11 years old. Nice. He, yeah, so he's a big boy. Right. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, he's okay. He's a good boy. He's, at times, mm -hmm. <laughs> you, know, you know how children are. Man, look at me started. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously, mm -hmm. um, yeah. But I'm, I'm a mom first before anything. Um, uh, basically, I'm a stay-at-home mom for now, and I also do this. I, this is like full time for me. I do singing, modeling, acting, all that. I try to balance everything out at home and as well. You know, personal life and outside life. Our personal life, professional life as well. So I try to mix. When I can, separate. Mm -hmm. But um, I do both. Like, I was gonna say, if you do it every, if you're doing everything at home, it has to be yes. somewhat difficult because it's it's hard sometimes. Like people try to bring bring their work home and yes. you keep their job. And it you makes can't, it. It's hard to separate them, especially yes. when you're already doing everything in the same house. Exactly. When do you have time for me time? Oh, when he sleeps, <laughs> basically. <laughs> oh no, seriously. I mean, when my 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 son goes to bed, um, I have a little time for myself or. Basically, the weekends when they can, because I usually do it like a lot of running around and stuff when I, you know, 
I'm doing gigs or doing different like you know mo uh, movies I'm in or web series and stuff like that. I, so I try your to, family helps you out. Yes, definitely, yeah. definitely. Big, big support on the family and my, my fans and my friends as well. And, so how many songs now? Have you, do you write your own songs? Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, the majority of my songs are original. Um, nice. Yes, I, I do some common songs here and there, but I, I prefer my own because it's good to practice your own music as you as as is when you can. Because you know having a child is uh, as time consuming as it is, so you have to balance that out and everything else. But it, overall, I will say it's it's an awesome experience. Like just to balance that out and time to make my music and time to you know visually put that concept of the song and all together. Well, I yeah. thank you for allowing me to get in your business a just problem. a little bit. <laughs> and Not a problem. hopefully we'll be able to hear something else from yes, you. I'm looking forward to that. I would, no, I'd love to. Yeah, definitely. You told me, guys. Yeah, sure, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, we thank Virgie for being thank here. And hopefully we, we hope to see more fabulous things from her. Oh, thank you. Until thank then. You. Thank you. Stay tuned. Yes. <laughs> All right. Three, two. Tell me all your deepest fears and the whole back, all your tears. Baby, I love you, and that's the truth. So open yourself to me. You are my friend, my confidence, my love and so much more. You show. From time to time, I'll come to see that we were meant to be. So do you see now that you can open up to me? Open yourself to me. Can't you see? Oh, baby. Your love is such a sweet taste for me, oh baby. Your knees get weak, nothing you can do 
had a stable mind Now I'm paralyzed, I'm so confused Need some advice so I lose my mind Though you deny I have to Face the truth And hear more arms than a t-shirt Tell my goons ask later, squeeze first To quench my thirst, used to swallow my spit Now I got a model chick with every bottle I sell oh, no, no. Is that what you need? Some Is that what you kick for? I never had to front and drop a dime for bail Got great lawyers for court, never see me in jail I know that the feds want to espionage But that's the shit that happen when you're new in it All facts uh, Let me talk to you Something real uh, Let's talk about something real Why a real rapper can't get a good deal why ball players make over a hundred mil? And why man starving can't get a decent meal? Shit is crazy, got me going nuts. Living with the parents, I'm tired enough. Wanna move out, but my money ain't up. Living by the rules, got a young man stuck. Minimum wage job, cause he's got damn felonies. I know I fucked up. What's up, man? In the morning. How I feel, you know, you're all Come talk to me. Got your mind on easy bacon Swagged out, decked out, sexed out Without a doubt, trying to pay for attention What's the price you listen? Thank you for your man, focus on the game plan Treat you like distribution, Gucci, Louis Since you knew me, but all of a sudden The mood between your man and change Trucks flowing anytime I'm on the corner Cracking, get it popping now It's time for some action, make you feel good You can fiend like Josie I'm on the mission, let me walk you through The white beach, with your shoes off Move your spirit, you haul, you can Call me big boss when I hit your spot side. Hey, you the girl I've been looking for, looking for. Say you the girl I've been searching for, searching for. Say you the girl I've been looking for, looking for. Say you the girl I've been say, say, say. Said I want to tell everybody. Said I want to tell everybody. I 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 really want to tell everybody. I think I wanna tell everybody I really wanna tell everybody about ya I, 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 I think I'm falling in love with you I really try my best to try to hold in the news And can't nobody else do 